It's time to swap with the wreath on my front porch. I do have the fall one there that I made and I'll link the video right here if you want to go check that out. It's a hula hoop wreath, but I don't want to make a Christmas wreath because then come January I have to go outside, swap it out for something else. So I'm just going to make a winter wreath that I can keep all winter long. I have this wreath form that's 18 inches that I picked up at Michael's. It's straw, so it does make a bit of a mess, but I'm going to be covering it. I have white fur ribbon, and I have a buffalo check scarf that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now, I have seen where you take the scarf and you just wrap it around the form. I don't wanna do that. I wanna do something a little bit different. And half of it will be covered in the fur and half of it will be covered in the buffalo check. But I haven't decided if that's gonna be the top or the bottom. So I'm just gonna put it together and see what looks best. And then I have a few other things I need to add to it. I'm gonna start with the fur. My plan for the fur ribbon is to cut short little strips and then wrap it around the form and sew it along to cover about half. Oh, it ended up almost exactly the size. No, like it is like exactly the size. Oh, perfect. Now to sewing. One half of the wreath is done, and now I'm just gonna do sort of the same thing with the scarf on the other half. The reason I sew it is not because I like sewing at all, it's because our winters are pretty rough, and I'm afraid that if I used hot glue or any other glue, that I would just end up like driving by the house and seeing like bits of the wreath flying all over the place. So sewing just seems a little more secure. I don't know if I want these tassel bits, so I'm gonna leave them at first and then I'll decide. Sewing's all done and it looks wintry. It, it looks cozy. What doesn't look good is the fringe or this tassely thing. So I am going to remove that. But this is definitely not a wreath for my front door just yet. What I want to do is make another wreath in the middle, like a double wreath, and that's going to be greenery. This tub right here that I have is just full of winter greenery, Christmas greenery that I use to decorate every now and then. So I have things like this. Oh, that already looks good. Just adding a little bit of greenery. Oh man, that looks like winter right away. And I do have one of these old hangers, which I'm gonna try to make a form in the middle. And when I say try, I really do mean try, because I might have to make Ralph help me out with this. I'm not really, well, I'm not great at measuring. I'm not really good at anything that requires much strength, so I might have to rope him into this. And then once that part's done, I have this strip of leather that I picked up, well, the strip of pleather that I picked up, which is going to attach kind of like, like a purse handle, and that's how I'm gonna hang it. So something like that, with the green in the middle. That's my plan, and I'm gonna get to it. First, with this ugly fringe. There, that's the outer ring. Now, time to make the inner ring. Thank you. Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah. Good size? Yeah. Okay. Ta-da. Thanks. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, you don't you don't wanna help me anymore? I got my own stuff to do. Alright. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So that looks good. Now what I need to do is just attach some greenery and I'm just gonna use zip ties. Cause cause that's easy. And it'll withstand lovely winter around here. Let's go. This is looking full enough to me, I, th I think. So I'm going to attach it and I tried out using this, these little ties that I have, twist ties. I think I might have called them zip ties, but I meant twist ties. But they're not long enough to reach to t uh, join the two together, so I'm gonna just use some of this floral wire. So we have the inside wreath, the outside wreath, and now I just have to figure out how I'm going to attach the strap. 
something like that. I just have to find, I don't think just stapling it in will hold it because it's just straw. So I have to come up with something sturdy-ish. My idea to attach the strap to the wreath is by using some of this floral wire. I'm gonna use it like thread. So I have two sizes of needles and I'm gonna try threading it through and then really tightly attaching it to the sides. Now I'm just trying to tie it as tight as I can. Dirty too. Let's see. It's so cute. It's not a Christmas wreath, but it's definitely a winter wreath. I think my favorite part is the strap. I love how that turned out. What about you? Leave me a comment and let me know. My parents have a lot of trees on their property, which is great for me because this is what I just picked up from there. So I go there every year and I get to trim boughs to make the planters for the front of my porch. What I wanna do right now is just trim them down, like cut down these extra pieces here so I have like little spears to stick into the dirt so I can make my planters. So let's start trimming. on our front porch. I have some bows to add to our planters. And I picked up some more solar powered lights so we can add them to the birch branches and the planters. And if you enjoy our videos and want to help out our channel, please remember to subscribe. And you can ding the bell so YouTube can notify you when we upload a new video. And if you like our videos, please hit the thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms that it was a good video and more people should watch it. <sighs> Colder. <sighs> You ready? Yeah. Okay, okay and we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, dude, don't do it. Okay, that sounds like, I don't know. Okie dokie. No. <laughs> Are you smiling for real? No, that's a fake smile. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> we're freezing our butts off and we're ready to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>